Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from 1 Samuel chapter 13. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we come before you this morning as every morning to give you thanks for yet another day of life that you have given us. We haven't said it in a while, but we should be reminded that as long as we have this life, we have hope that you have not forsaken us yet still because you are faithful. We have hope that you are still working on us to pull us out of darkness into your marvelous light for all those who accept your help. And again, dear Lord, we cannot express enough how thankful we are because we have done wrong and have gone off that gone after destruction. But you, O oh Lord, are faithful, not willing for any of us to perish, because you take no pleasure in the destruction of the wicked. And even through you, Lord Jesus Christ, we have salvation. And you have been so gracious unto us to give us the comforter to seal us until the day that you do come to redeem us from this corruption into incorruption. And this is what we pray, is that you cause it so that we abide in you and in your love forever and ever. And we know, having finished this course, this race, this life, having gotten eternal life, we shall abide in your goodness forever and ever so heavenly father we just want to thank you we want to ask that you keep us diligent in our walk with you that our faith in you O lord for everything be sure that we don't Lean on our own, that we don't lean on our own understanding, but trust in you, O Lord. In all our ways, cause it so that we acknowledge you, that we glorify you, that we give honor and praise unto your name, so that we can divert all praise and worship back unto the only one that is deserving of such, which is you, Lord Jesus Christ. So keep us watchful. Keep us diligent, keep us discerning, because again, we are fighting a spiritual battle every day, every waking moment. It's not only when we get the heaviness and that we fight it, no, we're fighting it. Even when we're smiling and we're laughing, we're, we're fighting that spiritual battle because our, our enemy don't let up or doesn't let up. He wants to steal, to kill, to destroy. And sometimes it might back off a little bit to make us feel like, oh yeah, we'll finish that now. I th without doubt this is the life of the believer in Christ is that we're going to war that good war we're going to fight that good fight of faith right till the end but what we do have reassurance is we won't get weary that we won't get overcome that we won't give up because again we already have the victory in you Lord Jesus Christ and we pray that we just hold fast to it so throughout all the tests and trials, keep us strong, keep us alert, keep us diligent to serve you throughout all things, even when we can't see the way out. We want to serve you yet still, with all joy, with all zealousness. And Lord, that you just continue to manifest your love in our lives. Because it's so that we use what we have everything that we have and what we possess to help one another in love to raise up the children the youth in the knowledge and truth of who you are and to come together as husband and wife to promote to sustain to nurture and that you put your hedge of protection around marriages in the pursuit of godly marriages so that in all things, again, 
we may glorify you by showing that love, that image of Christ and his bride, his church, who we are. Let us do so in the context of what you have given us here in this life as man and woman, husband and wife. So we're thanking you, O Heavenly Father, for all things. Lead us in spirit and in truth in your word. To the glory of God, our Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. All right. So 1 Samuel chapter 13. Saul reigned one year, and when he had reigned two years over Israel, Saul chose him 3,000 men of Israel, whereof 2,000 were with Saul in Michmash, Michmash, and in Mount Bethel, and a thousand were with Jonathan in Gibeah of Benjamin, and the rest of the people he sent every man to his tent. And Jonathan smote the garrison of the Philistines that was in Gib Geba, and the Philistines heard of it. And Saul blew the trumpet throughout all the land, saying, Let the Hebrews hear. And all Israel heard say that, well, sorry, verse 4. And all Israel heard say that Saul had smitten a garrison of the Philistines, and that Israel also was had in abomination with the Philistines. And the people were called together after Saul to Gilgal. And the Philistines gathered themselves together to fight, with Israel, 30,000 chariots and 6,000 horsemen and people as the sand which is on the seashore in multitude. And they came up and pitched in Mishmash, eastward of Bethaven. When the men of Israel saw that they were in a strait, for the people were distressed, then the people did hide themselves in caves and in thickets and in rocks and in high places and in pits. And some of the Hebrews went over Jordan to the land of Gad and Gilead. As for Saul, he was yet in Gilgal and all the people followed him trembling. And he tarried seven days according to the set time that Samuel had appointed. But Samuel came not to Gilgal, and the people were scattered from him. And Saul said, Bring hither a burnt offering to me and peace offerings. And he offered the burnt offering. And it came to pass that as soon as he had made an end of offering the burnt offering, behold, Samuel came. And Saul went out to meet him, that he might salute him. And Samuel said, what hast thou done? And Saul said, Because I saw that the people were scattered from me, and that thou camest not within the days appointed, and that the Philistines gathered themselves together in Mishmesh, Mishmesh, Mishmash. Therefore said I, The Philistines will come down now on, upon me to Gilgal, and I have not made supplication unto the Lord. I forced therefore sorry I forced myself therefore and offered a burnt offering. And Samuel said to Saul, Thou hast done foolishly. Thou hast not kept the commandment of the Lord thy God, which he commanded thee. <coughs> For now would the Lord have established thy kingdom upon Israel forever, but now thy kingdom shall not continue. The Lord hath sought him and man after his own heart, and the Lord hath commanded him to be captain over his people, because thou hast not kept that which the Lord commanded thee. And Samuel arose and got him up from Gilgal unto Gebeah of Benjamin. And Saul numbered the people that were present with him about six hundred men. And Saul and Jonathan his son and the people that were present with them abode in Gibeah of Benjamin, but the Philistines encamped in Michmash. And the spoilers came out of the camp of the Philistines in three companies. One company turned unto the 
way that leadeth to Op Ophra unto the land of Shoal. And another company turned the way to Bethor run and another company turned to the way of the border that looketh to the valley of Zeb Zeboim toward the wilderness. Now there was no smith found throughout all the land of Israel for the Israel for the Philistines said lest the Hebrews make them swords or spear. But all the Israelites went down to the Philistines to sharpen every man his sh share and his coulter and his axe and his mattock. Yet they had a file for the mattocks and for the coulters and for the forks and for the axes and to sharpen the goads. So it came to pass in the day of battle that there was neither sword nor spear found in the hand of any of the people that were with Saul and Jonathan but with Saul and with Jonathan his son was there found and the garrison of the Philistines went out to the passage of Mish Mishmash Mishmash all right amen so we'll leave it at that this morning Anything that you want to share, as always, drop it in the comment section and we'll recap this with the rest of the chapters on the weekend coming. Anything that you want to share in the time, yeah, drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreachone.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.